yeah hello guys you're welcome to my channel and today we'll be um, dealing with the netcdf files i will be doing introduction to netcdf files and as we know that uh, netcdf files they are software libraries and as well as self-describing machines that could help a person or support the creation of uh, arrays on oriented uh, scientific data that we could uh, we could use in python and so today we'll be using python so what are uh, a net cdf now it is assumed that if you have a net cdf files like um, i already have some couple of net cdf file here in my drive um i just go to my drive i think i have here and uh, i have uh, a monthly so these are uh, for 2004 net, uh, net CDF files for this 2004. So if you just want to see in detail the properties of this file, you just go to properties and um, you go to details and you can see that this file, by name, if you would expand this file, you'll see that by name, it is uh, a net uh, CDF file. So, <clears throat> so not to take long story so i just copy one of this file i just copy this and paste it on my desktop okay now good now i have this for 2002 oh i took for 2002 so now what we'll do is now we'll go into our python um python jupyter and we open a new script uh we'll just open a new uh, Jupyter script <clears throat> and to do that we just go to new in Python 3 and um, we rename this uh, reading or I would just say we can call it introduction oh, introduction to net CDF I think that's better so <clears throat> All right. So now, uh, remember, well, if you watch in my previous video, how to uh, read uh, files from uh, of .csv. So .csv, what we do is um, we we definitely want to read every files from directories, and so this is how we read a .csv. And the same thing is what we do for a netcdf file. Now we have a netcdf file that we want to run, but before that, there are um, packages or modules in Python that we can use to read <coughs> uh, net cdf files and an example of such it's uh, what we call the zari it depends on what modules you want to use but in my course we'll be dealing with the zari um, with the zari module of reading uh, net cdf files so um now let's try to say uh, we import uh oh sorry <coughs> Okay, so we say, uh, please Python import for us um, Zari. Yeah, we say Zari. Now we just say Zari as Z R. Now, if we run the Zari, it's going to give us an error because the Zari module has not been installed on my uh, on my Python. Uh, so what I do is um, to install the Zari. Uh, if you also want to watch how to install modules in python with um, on the python shell you can as well look at my other videos on uh, installing modules in python so what i do is i just go to my python uh, my anaconda and i go to anaconda prompts and i just say uh, uh, conda conda please uh, install install zari now when i do this and i and i hit enter so conda will definitely will ask me after searching for the library for zari and will ask me yes or no to install this package and so i'm going to pause this video why um, uh, it's search for the model so now you see that um, conda just asks me do i need to proceed yes or no so i just hit the yes and i hit now we can see the installation it's taking place and so i can as well pause the video after the installation we continue so as we can see um, it's completely uh, the package module is completely installed so and it goes back to the root directory on my um, prompt so uh, but sometimes uh, zara is a quite a heavy package because it takes sometimes it could take over 10 to 15 minutes or even sometimes less depend on your uh, processor speed and all of this and so now finally we've um, um, import uh, 
install the Zari and so I'm importing it at uh, um, X arrow. Now one beautiful thing why I'm so used to using Zari in um, in reading that CDF files is because of the wonderful uh, offers that Zari uh, uh, offers for the users in Python like um, it helps to apply operations over dimensions and it helps to even organize your arrays and data in your uh, in your data files so now let's now run this again this command and see if it gives us an error and when we run this definitely we won't get an error because we finally from conda installed our zari package and so uh, not to forget definitely i would be importing certain uh certain modules as well as uh, numpy i will say no uh, import uh, numpy uh, not pi as np i just skip that this once because definitely i will as well use scipy uh, i don't know if i've installed scipy in this package i don't know i'll see as sp i just take it as sp so if i run this now i shouldn't get an error good so scipy is already installed as sp so now we have our full uh, package installed now what we want to do now is to go through the directory uh, to, of this file and how do we read these how do we read a file with Zari? Now, uh, now what we do is um, we start by saying let's call this data. Uh, I will just call it data 2000. Oh, data underscore 2002 because we are reading. I'm using that because we have um, this. So then, what we do is um, we use the command Zari dot open. Mm -hmm. dot open underscore data set underscore data set so this is how we we can read a file with Zari now what we do it's um definitely we open the parentheses uh, bracket and so <coughs> uh, let's say now we go to the directory where this file which file I want to read and I can decide to say where was that file saved it was saved on my desktop so I just go to my desktop how I normally do it if you have watched my other videos you would see how to read uh, files so I just open and I say I'm taking this guy or we could say read the first one maybe we'll make it bigger and I just come here and I just copy this uh, directory and so it's easier for me uh, that's life's life's easiest again so <clears throat> now when I go I put this there now one thing is that um, it does not understand uh, front slash so I just I just change these directories to uh, front slash as well now I, I'm not done so what I do is uh, if I run this for example I'm going to get definitely an error because uh, I've not it's gonna tell me this file is not I uh, cannot be found in the directory so it's denied because I have not defined which file particularly I'm already inside this folder it's already seen this folder but it's not I've not defined which of this I want to read now if I take this again I, what I do is I just rename now you can see it's a .nc file so I just come over and put it now if I do this and I run this script again it's still going to give me an error because it's telling me we cannot see this file it's 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 an error of file not found error so what I do it's the extension remember never to forget the file extension of .nc and so if I run this I should definitely have no error now the next thing I want to do is um, I can because we have so much long I can decide to do this and um, we know this in Python that if we want to uh, continue we just put um, oh looking for my forward slash uh, that's not there oh because I switched my keyboard so nevertheless we can just um, as well we can as well uh, uh, create let's see we can just as well take this out um, take this out so we have um, a complete name and we say uh, 
uh, this so we can decide to call I'm just trying to make this look a little better so we have so we have a, at least a nice script so I can decide to pass so um so what we just I decided to do was uh, to make um, the the directory is shorter so that at least we don't have a longer or lengthy um, lengthy code that we have to scroll to view so what I did was I just created a part here um, the part which um, to look into this uh, folder uh, 2002 which was in my desktop then I name another file file 02 and I read it with Zari that open uh, this and I uh, added this part to which is here to the name of this uh, file that we want to read and so by the time I copy this and <clears throat> first if I run this I shouldn't get an error now we've been able to look into this file directory into this file to read this file now let us open the file and let us see what is inside the file and so to do that we just take this we just take this file and say uh, run now if we run this now we've been able to see what is inside this file which is what we have here now first we can see that we have dimensions and we have latitudes of 180 to longitude of 360 which is here and we have uh, now the data variables which is quite important uh, what we uh, we are so concerned about now this tells us or gives us the details of this file we have uh, the variables which are I have AOD this here AOD and SDV and time so we have three variables in this file and uh, we can see that uh, the title of this file is ISO's monthly level and uh, we can as well see uh, that this where we can also see the URL where we can get this file to download all of these are included in this details now we've been able to open this detail uh, to open this file sorry now the next thing is um, how can we start to make use of these variables in this file and this is what we continue in part 2 of my video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.